Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Kenny and Charlie Top 2, brought to you by JEGS, the leader in high-performance aftermarket car parts. Remember to go to JEGS.com to fix your hot rod up and get your parts for your pickup truck or even your Jeeps now. They say they have all that in stock. Okay, Charlie, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. I'm reporting live from uh, Dover. Hold on, the Monster Mile. And look at us. Hey, look at us. First of all, we started this thing two and a half years ago on our cell phones. And, and look at us now. We both have $300 microphones. How about that? We're, we're growing. Charlie, you look so good. When <laughs> I signed on, you know, we do this over the internet. And I looked at you. I started laughing. I said, that's fantastic. And it's absolutely perfect. So let's get going right away. We got to do this in 10 minutes or less. Uh, that's our goal for Kenny Charlie top two. Charlie, that crowd behind you at Dover, that was all the rage. That was the big story. In your opinion, why was the crowd so big this year at Dover? So, look, I, I think uh, what absence makes the heart grow fonder. I do think there's something to these tracks going from two races to one. And uh, a lot of these tracks that have a spring race, they have a fall race. Think about it. Okay, maybe you want to go to the, the spring race. Oh, I'll wait till the fall. Then the fall comes. Oh, I got a wedding that weekend. Oh, there's a big football game I want to go to. I know this is happening at a lot of these tracks. I grew up around Michigan International Speedway that uh, always had two races when I was growing up. But uh, to me, I think I'm, I'm with kind of Dale Jr. and some of these other folks that, and, and Kevin Harvick, you know, make these events. You know, the, the big tracks, the iconic tracks, the Daytonas, Talladegas, Bristols, you know, you're always going to have the tracks with two races. But I think some of these tracks having just one race, you make it the huge event of the year and you can't miss it. And the fans basically want to show up and have to show up. And I'll just add to that, Charlie. I think uh, when you have all these races like the Coke 600, it's like, oh, what's what's the next one at Charlotte? What's the name of it? I agree. It, it You have those marquee events. And we are in a society now. I'm going to go deep now. We are in a society where people think they, they got it all. And, you know, I can do anything now. I got all these TV stations. I'll choose whatever I want. Oh, they're making me pay. For, I got an idea. Let me just stop you right there, Kenny Wallace. How about we just take all racing away from you? Let's see if you really like it. Now, though, I know that's a little mean, but uh, they took one race away from Dover, and it's my opinion. I agree with you that that scared the fans. I think it scared people. Like, oh no, we were just kidding when we were talking bad about NASCAR. We just like to complain. So, uh, thirty-nine races, Charlie, out of fifty-two weeks. I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to say the biggest controversy, and I know the fans don't like to hear it. I always say fans don't know what they want. We race too much, Charlie. We race too much. Listen, football is the biggest of all. And how many how many football games are there, Charlie, in NFL? So it was 16. Now it's 17. And you can see Roger Goodell has already said he wants it to be 18 to move it up so that the Super Bowl would be on the three-day President's Day weekend. I don't know if you saw that. So yeah, it did. was 16, and, and now they want 18 regular season games down the road. Yeah, and, and we cannot compare. The NFL is the greatest. Everybody admits that. Nobody better than the NFL. People, we've made fun of all the football fans. All of you, all of you will spend two grand a year to watch football games because you love it that much. And that's fine. I'm just a little jealous. I'm just a little jealous. But I think NASCAR races too much. And uh, Dale Jr. said it too. He said it too. So, all right. That was a huge crowd behind you, Charlie. All right. Uh, Kenny and Charlie top two. So, the second one is Jimmy Johnson. Um, Charlie, you're a sportster. And I say that. You know way more about all sports than I'll ever, ever know. You, you report you worked for Channel 2 downtown St. Louis. Um, Jimmy Johnson, he came back, and he's doing something that I don't know if we've seen in sports ever. Uh, he quit racing NASCAR for like four years, something like that. And he said, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to race, and I'm only going to run about eight races a year. 
Charlie, let me ask you this. Have you ever seen any athlete in the world that has done what Jimmy Johnson is trying to do? And hold on, here's key. And be successful at it. Okay, I think it's going to get back to our conversation last week about Michael Jordan. Remember Michael Jordan, of course, he retired the first time to play baseball, sat out a year and a half, but then he retired again. You think he's done. What, he becomes an owner, then he comes back with the Washington Wizards. I was just looking up, or the Bullets, Wizards, whatever it was at that time. I was looking up his stats. You know, he was still pretty dang good, um, but he was he was away from basketball for a while. I'm trying to think of other sports. The guy that came to mind was, remember uh, Brett Favre? It seemed yeah. like he retired and unretired every single year. It was such a joke on ESPN where they had aerial coverage with helicopters, and it sure seemed like at the end, he didn't want to play for the Packers, so he goes to the Jets, but he really wanted to play for the Vikings, but the Packers wouldn't allow that. And also, I think as he got older, he didn't want to go to training camp, right? Training mm -hmm. camp seems pretty hard in the summer. It's hot. And that's where I'll bring up Tom Brady. It would not surprise me if Tom Brady in the next couple of years, let's say a team has an injury, right? Let's say a good team has an injury to a quarterback, and all of a sudden Tom Brady can come out of retirement for maybe just four, five, six games. That sounds more fun than playing a whole season if you're 40, what, five years old. So uh, let's do this. Kenny and Charlie top two is a lot of fun. You had your prop last week. I don't know if you're going to have one this week. I got one. I do. You do got a prop. Good stuff. All right. <laughs> Jimmy Johnson is a very good friend of mine. Very good friend. Okay. Jimmy gave me his helmet. I traded helmets with him. Let's look at it. Okay. Thanks. Bro, for everything, four time, okay? So, Jimmy Johnson gave me his real helmet. Here's his drink tube. There's his, there's his drink tube right there. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm telling you all that me and Jimmy Johnson are friends. When we're, when we're talking about Jimmy, this is because, G Charlie, we're amazed what he's trying to do. Uh, I, I texted Jimmy yesterday. I said, Jimmy, come on, Kenny, conversation. Let's celebrate your career. You know, no response. Uh, no, no problem. He's probably very busy, but he probably doesn't want to hear it. I just find this a very fascinating, unique story where could it be that racing's hotter than we think it is? I mean, listen, he's a seven-time champion. He's He can do whatever he wants to do. And I see everybody's, nobody's going there. Nobody except me and you. All the race car drivers are like, let him do what he wants to do. Now, I heard one really good Hall of Famer champion say, I don't agree with what he's trying to do. And I'm never going to repeat who that person is. Um, <laughs> but I think that person's a little jealous. So I laid it out. Jimmy Johnson and I are friends. We traded helmets. There's his real helmet when he won his fourth championship. I think he's trying to do something that nobody's ever done. Charlie, let me ask you this. Could it be that he's a seven-time champion and he's trying to do something that no other athlete has done? And by that, do you mean try to win winning. more races and winning. win another championship? You know, winning, winning only, just winning. Okay. I, I watch all of his press conferences at the, at the tracks. He did one this past week, and he talks a lot about just doing this for the team to get data, right, for Legacy Motor Club, for the other drivers to learn. So, so maybe when he started out, he wanted and thought he was going to win races. I don't know if deep down he still thinks he can, but every time I hear him talk recently, it's more about collecting data for Legacy. So I wonder, he's seen some results. It's a new car. The car is different on these tracks. And I wonder if he's kind of brought his expectations down more from at the end, yeah, maybe I can get back. I'll win a race here or there. Dang, it's pretty hard. And also, when you're not with Hendrick and you're in the back of the pack where you can run into a lot of wrecks and all that, right? Running in the back like that, you get caught up in a lot. We've seen that with Jimmy Johnson, too. Yeah. Okay, let's end it like this. We know that uh, Jeff Gordon retired, and he came in a relief drove for what, uh, Dale Jr. You know, but, I mean, it was like the very next year. It's like he was never off work. We want you to respond right here. We're talking about a driver or an athlete that was off for years. 
years, plural. Don't throw, don't try to get us because you're not going to get us, but we want you to play with, within the rules. We want to know an athlete that was off, say, for four years and came back. And um, all right, so Charlie, listen, that's that. Um, white bread or whole <laughs> wheat bread? All right, my, my prop is back. <laughs> here, here live from Dover, I'm going to give you my uh, look. Oh, look, see? Oh, this, this is where the green screen messes me up. The prop doesn't even work. Anyway. <laughs> It was oh, wheat whatever bread. You do, whatever you do, don't edit that. <laughs> Hold on. Can I put it up? There we go. Hold on. Oh, there we go. We're close. What's the name of that? I like that. This is a, I'm, I'm an every man. This is Aldi, baby. Hey, I like it. We all know groceries are expensive these days. The inflation buster is going to Aldi. Everything's like a dollar. Okay. And if I, Aldi wants to sponsor this segment, give us a call. Yeah. Wheat and, bread. And, I, and, and same with me. I'm with, I, I'm Dave's. That's the new one. A lot of whole grain. I, I love it. And did you know that normal white bread will turn green pretty quick? Good whole wheat, lots of grain. It is sit there for weeks and be okay. All right, everybody. Remember we are in podcast form. This is a quick one. Remember to check us out on iTunes and Spotify until the next Kenny and Charlie top two.